Hello there, I am Lukas Orsvan and in this video I'm going to teach you how to create holes in the terrain like I've done here. And this is very useful if you want to create caves for instance or something similar like that in your terrain. To do that we need to edit the terrain uh, model file and uh, we can find out what terrain model file we have by looking in the um, in our levels XML file. So go to your overgrowth directory and then into your data folder and then levels. And in here you should have your level somewhere, hopefully. So open up the XML file for your level. Mine is this one, tutorial underscore terrain.xml. So I'm going to open up that with notepad. And under terrain here, you can see that we have a height map and that's located in data, textures, terrain, impressive underscore mountains, impressive underscore mountains, underscore hm.png. So that is the name of our height map and um, our, uh, our OBJ file, which is the model file that we're going to edit, will have this name, but it will have .obj at the end. So first things first, let's find out if this uh, OBJ file is located in our overgrowth directory. So go to your overgrowth directory once again and then go into data and uh, let's see where was it located. Let's see. So it should be in textures, data, textures, textures, and then terrain, and then impressive mountains, and uh, there is our OBJ file. Now if you can't find the OBJ file in this folder, then it's probably located in your um, user directory, um, and that would be my documents. Uh, so I'm going to go to my documents, and then to Wolfire, overgrowth, data, and, and let's see, textures, right, and then terrain, and then impressive underscore mountains, and then it would be located in here, but it's not in this case because it was already located in the Wolfi folder. And if you can't find it in here either for your terrain, then you need to start the level um, because um, then the game hasn't generated a terrain for you yet. We're going to use uh, Blender for this, so if you don't have Blender, you can go to blender.org and download that from there. So when you start up Blender, it's going to look something like this. Uh, you can just click to remove that message and then hit A and then A again to select everything and then press X and click to delete. And then we're going to want to import an OBJ file, Wavefront OBJ. Um, I have my impressive mountains right here, so I'm just going to jump right in there and uh, take the obj file and it's going to take a few moments to load here and here we go this is uh, the terrain for the level that i'm working on let's find a good place to remove some uh, some stuff then so i'm using middle mouse click to uh, to move around the camera like this and then hold shift with with middle mouse to to pan around and scroll wheel to zoom in and out i with the object selected, which I select with right click, I press tab to go into edit mode, and then I press A to deselect everything. I press B to enter um, box select mode, and then I click and drag, and uh, let's go, and then I press X and uh, delete the vertices. Now, when you do this, what you want to make sure is that you do not have anything that looks like this. So this is a guy that's just hanging in the air like this uh, with no support around him. If you have um, a piece that is like this, then uh, when you try to start your level, the game is going to crash. And we're looking good here, so I'm going to hit tab once again to get out of uh, edit mode. And then hit file, export, wavefront obj. I'm going to jump uh, into my overgrowth folder, let's see, and then data, and then you can put this uh, obj file wherever you want. I'm going to put it in my personal custom folder, so I'm going to go into the custom directory and then silverfish and then I'm going to jump into let's create a, actually a new directory called terrain here. Jump in there and I'm going to call this my underscore terrain dot obj. Let's export that and now that's done so let's minimize blender and um, get back into our um, our uh, level XML file. So now that we have our terrain um, all holy like we want it, 
Oh, holy. Yeah, how funny. Um, we want to add a um, model override tag to our terrain tag. So in uh, beneath your terrain tag here, um, just uh, at the top here is fine. Um, I'm going to add a model override tag. And that looks like that. So model override. Make sure you get the caps right and all that. And uh, this is going to point to our OBJ file that we created. And that is located in, let me bring this up once again so that we don't get this wrong. Actually, I can just copy paste it. That would be the easiest way to do it. So I was in data, custom, silverfish, and then uh, terrain. And here it is. So I'm just going to click up there and take this path, copy that, paste that there, data, custom, silverfish, terrain. And then we add my underscore terrain dot obj. So copy that and paste it there. And then save that. And now when you load the level, it uh, should have your edited terrain in it. So let's uh, try it out and see if it works. My level was called um, tutorial underscore terrain. Tutorial underscore terrain dot xml. And here we are in our final level. Let's jump over here and we can clearly see that we have created a hole in the terrain. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you some other day. Bye bye. <coughs>